right, Paul. Um, well, before I talk to you, hashtag nation. Thank you for joining us once again for another episode of Chaos and Mayhem. Uh, if it's your first time here, make sure you go down below and turn that red subscribe button gray, and then hit a hit like or dislike, whatever. It's engagement. We love it. Uh, and then also in the description of this video, we're going to see our merch store and Patreon. So if you want to join our Patreon, some behind the scenes stuff, $7.16 a month. So you can join the hashtag nation, be one of the hashtag heroes. Uh, Paul, a lot has been made about Brandon Bean and his ability to draft. Yeah. He's, he's really good at drafting. What I wanted to do is maybe trigger some of Bill's mafia and hashtag nation. Let's go. Let's go through his drafts. Just his. We're not Just talking his. about McDermott. So Tredavious White is out. No, he's out. That, that draft. Milano is out. is out. Yeah. That draft is out. We're not talking about that draft. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about simply from when Brandon Bean was hired until now. Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. How many drafts is that? That's 18, 19, 20, and 21? Yep. Okay, he's got four drafts. Yep. We're going to go hits and misses. I love it. I love it. How many total draft picks has he had uh, let's in that four-year four time period? Uh, there's, there's, there's a, a lot. Bunch. I know. There's a bunch. 31 picks 31. in four years. Yep. Okay, so roughly around 80 a year. Yep. Quick math. Um, hey, not bad. So we're going to try to see what is Bean's percentage. Yeah. Hits and misses. Totally our opinion, our view. So if you mm -hmm. don't like it. <laughs> I think we should go 2018 and now, right? Mm -hmm. I think we should go twenty. Bread and butter. Now. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Let me see. Let me see if I get this. It was Allen, Edmonds, uh, Phillips, mm -hmm. Allen, Edmonds, Ooh. Phillips, Johnson. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta. You gotta lock in before I start giving you help. You gotta lock it in. No, I don't. Th th let's just go. Okay. okay. So we're saying Allen and Edmonds are hits, right? Oh uh, yeah, without number a doubt. one and two, bing bing. Yeah. Uh, next is Harry Phillips. Okay, I would say that's a hit. And he's also gonna now. Come, he's, I would say now he's also gonna come up on an episode a little bit later uh, this week. So stay tuned for that. One. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm in with Harry as a hit. Uh, injury history is injury history. Yeah. Right, and but across that Bills defensive line, there's not a lot of snaps to go around, and he got a lot of snaps last year. He did. So he, that, did. That's he, he resurrected what he needed to do. Right. In a contract year. Let's let's be mindful of that. We've always said it. We can't just exclude him because he's a Buffalo Bill. We talk about these guys that perform in contract years. They always lose their minds. Yep. Right. So bad. Yeah. Uh, Teron Johnson. Hit. Yeah. It's got to be. Yeah, so it's, it's four four to nothing in one yep. draft. Yep. Searon Neal. Uh, Mar is like. Home run. That's not a hit. That's a home run. Uh, Sarah Neal recently signed to his contract extension. Three years, 10.9. Yep. To play linebacker, though, Paul. Well. I'm telling you he's playing linebacker. They signed his contract, and it said linebacker-ish. <laughs> <laughs> playing Ish. over 1,000 snaps in four years, missing one game. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a big deal. So that's that's five hits. Wyatt Teller. Hit. That's, that's got to be a hit. That's but a hit. For, Give the reason why it's a hit. Not just because he's a pro bowler on another team, which that could be it. That right. could be the reason. Right, yeah. But as Paul likes to mention, I'll do it for him. The pick that you got with Wyatt Teller. You got Diggs with. Yeah, that's right. Which you gave yep. to Minnesota for Diggs. Hit. So it's six? Yeah, so far we're, we're through all of them. Is that, the, is that the whole draft? Nope. Next, Ray Ray McLeod. Hit. The, how, no, Ray McLeod's a I hit. will fight you on this. No, listen, for somebody, for the role that he has played, he's stuck around the NFL long enough. He's stuck around the NFL for quite a while, and when you're talking about a sixth round pick, the fact that his career well, is still going on, most sixth and seventh round picks, their career is a year and a half. That is the average length of a career for sixth or seventh round pick is a year and a half, and he's been with he's. He's been with Pittsburgh. He's stuck around there. I think that's a hit. A six-round player. I he's think that's the a splendid hit. version of McKenzie. 
You really think he's a hit? I don't think he's a hit. I, I, are we talking hit mm. for Buffalo specifically? I, I, or hit I, as just in general, you scouted well enough to get a guy that's in the NFL? Go moving the goalposts again. I'm just asking. That's a great point, though. Like, yeah. if the Bills, because back in the day, the Bills would draft a player. Like, would you call Marshawn Lynch a hit? Not for Buffalo. But, but still a hit. Right. They, they scouted him correctly and drafted him. Yeah. He just didn't stay with them. Right. Exactly. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take that. Okay. So, um, we, I, I still think he's a hit, though. I still think McLeod is. Last one, Austin Prohl. Yes. No. That's, that was a yeah. favor. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what, how many picks was that? Uh, what was that? Eight, two, four, six, eight. So seven you, out of eight. You got it. I got six out of eight. You got seven. Seven out of eight. eight. Yep. All right. Wow. Next. Pretty Next good. up, that's not bad. 2019 draft. And your first miss was in the seventh round, sixth and seventh round. Poor that's guy. pretty impressive. Damn it, Bean. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on, get your get your <laughs> together. <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, Ed Oliver. Ed, do we even need to talk about this? Ed Oliver is going to make a lot of money <laughs> next year. There's a lot of people that are on the fence about him. I don't know how. Uh, you know, Ed I Oliver is Ed weird Oliver. to me. Right? I'm just putting because the argument out there. Right? Oliver is a pass rush defensive tackle, and that's just not what Bean and McDermott really, really love. They don't love pass rush, pass rush DTs, so I think sometimes he gets hung out to dry a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and by the fan base too, you got to understand he's not a huge help in the run game. That's not the type of player that he is, right? That's he's why there. you got Harry Phillips next to him. That's why you got him. The right. star, or whatever. That's why you got you need a big body next to him. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's why. Uh, so, Ed Oliver's a hit. I think we're both good on that, right? Okay. Is that, so it's, do you need to? You need a big buy to get them. That's precisely it. <laughs> Man, it took you this many years to figure out the formula? <laughs> Not the secret formula! What is this? Bane and freaking Ross Al Ghul. Oh my god. It's so funny. All right. Uh, so, it's a hit. So, wow. So yeah. I, uh, you're at uh, you're at seven, seven out of nine, nine, and you're at eight of nine. Yep, Cody Ford. Nope. This <laughs> no, this is a Cody Ford. <laughs> That's a miss. So I'm at uh, what a seven out of ten. You're Bills at eight traded out of 10. up for that. So do you? Yeah. Look, yeah, the Bills traded up for Cody Ford. So where, like. Where are you with that? Like, where? That's the thing. Like, you get a little judgy. Like, I'm a little judgy. For Cody Ford came out of Oklahoma, Ford. right? Cody Ford. Uh, Was he Bama or Oklahoma? Cody Ford. I thought he came from Bama, but I could be wrong. Ford was. I can't. I always miss. Oh okay, no, Oklahoma. You're it was right. Oklahoma. Okay. I, so you're talking about a spread system. So you thought you were getting a passing type guard. Mm -hmm. Or tackle, like because they've moved him everywhere. The the Cody Ford experiment, I think, is done because you put him every single place, mm -hmm. and you put him between veterans, he didn't succeed. No. You put him on the outside, he didn't succeed. Yep. He's just having trouble with probably the system. Now, oh here's, wait, hold on. Here's the deal, though. Oh yeah. Stop. I know where you're going with this. I know you know where I'm going with this. Going to a zone scheme. Oh, that's right. Cody Ford could be like. Could be the he diamond be, in the rough. He could be great for you. On a. Is he in free agent or contract? Uh, well, I mean. It, it, oh, it's contract. It's contract. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he's a second rounder. This guy could resurrect his career this year. Yeah. Okay, so if you're going across that front line and you decide, I'm just saying, if you decide to go Dawkins, Bates, Morse, Ford, and Williams. But you got Spencer Brown. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. so Nike. I think what ends up happening, Bates is the more versatile zone guard for you, right? Yes. But yes. you know what? And Tommy had mentioned something on the stream that we did when Cole Beasley had come up, and Tommy made a really interesting How point. He's like, he's like, you might see Mitch Morris gone because they've kept Ryan Bates around for a really long time, and wouldn't. I mean, don't get me wrong. Morris is like a perfect zone center. Like yeah. he's a perfect. Zone he would center. be great. But. What what offensive line do you like better? Do you like Dawkins, uh, Dawkins in this case Ford, Bates, Williams, Williams and, and Brown? Brown. Oh. versus versus Dawkins, Bates, Morris, Morse. Williams, Morse, Morse. Oh, like Morse. Morse. Yeah. Morse. Listen, it's not my fault. It's traded, so you I know, know right? Mess him up on. It's not my fault. His parents spelled his name wrong. Uh, Dawkins. 
Well, let's start back. Dawkins, start. Bates, Morse. Yeah. Uh, Williams, Brown. I don't. I like. I like. Mitch is a perfect zone blocking I, center, well, he, so I'm not. I, I'm on the. I'm actually on the fence. Here's the crazy way. part about it: the That's other two guys way. you're interchanging are Ford and Morse, which yeah. Morse played every snap, every single snap. He's expensive, though. He's I know expensive. he's expensive, but you, the fact that last year, if we were ever having a discussion of keeping. Ford versus Morse. Oh yeah, not a, not a conversation at all. But, but you're right; that's the decision, right? Like now. I said, yeah. you know, hashtag nation before you guys lose your minds and destroy him in the comments. You know, I'll this be is there. contingent on a. You know, I'll be there. This is contingent on a zone scheme, which right. Ford could be very good at. Very good at. Yeah, so he could be very good. That's at why we're having this discussion. Plus, he's going to cost so much, cheaper, so much money cheaper. But if he does show out this year, then you're going to have to keep. I mean, at that point, you only got a year left on on Daryl Williams' deal. Like, you're gonna yeah, be drafting yeah, guys. Right, okay, exactly. all right. okay, next, Devin Singletary. That's hit. gotta be a hit. That's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Dawson Knox. Hit. hit. Boshan Joseph. Miss. Yeah. Never Unfortunate. Even, yeah, he never even played an NFL game. Never manifested. Right. So that's and that's a fifth round pick. So that's the earliest miss we've seen. We've seen a sixth. Miss a seventh miss and a fifth miss. Now. Okay. Okay. Well, well, was Ford a miss? We all, we said a miss as of right now. He's a miss. Right. It was yeah, a trade up now. second round. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're right. You're sure. right. Um, Jaquan Johnson, the special teams player, contributes. I don't think when you're talking about a sixth round player, I think that's a hit for a sixth round player. If he was a third or higher, it'd be a miss. miss. I agree with that. I agree with that. Daryl Johnson. That's a that's a hit. Yes. I agree with you. For the Van value Johnson. you got, right? Yep. I mean, he's a heck of a player. He, he was a developmental project anyway. Right. But what did you trade him for? I think it was so sixth. You, yeah. So you, you had a six from Carolina. Yeah. That's he was a seventh round pick. You turn that into a sixth. Yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. All right. So totally how, fine. how many picks is that? Oh, uh, let me let, let me go back and pull what that pick was. A few moments later. So I had six out of eight in the first draft. You had seven out of eight in the first draft. Yep. I. Once again, I have six out of eight. In that well, we're not done yet because we still have Tommy Sweeney. Yes. Yeah, I. No offense to Tommy Sweeney. No, no, it's no not. It's just that you. Knox was drafted before you for a reason, right. and has gotten more opportunity than you. Well, and Tommy Sweeney and he was, was also out. Yeah. With so, COVID. No, right. Yeah. yeah. So at this point, I think you have to mark that up as a miss. I think if they caught Tommy Sweeney, nobody would be shocked by that at this point That's, so yeah as it, as it stands right now i have 11 out of 16 because i got three misses in that right draft and two and in the i first have one. 12 out of 16 and you have, oh you just have one more than me because the first round yeah because we agreed on all those okay we agree yeah we agree on all of those all right the 2020 draft aj vanessa can't do it i just don't like aj vanessa as a player i didn't like him when he was drafted i don't like him in the system once that's again, a, like we 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 just said before about Jaquan Johnson, because of where he was drafted, it's fine. If yeah. Epineza was a fourth or fifth round, yeah, I don't care. His production yeah, is fine. Is a, is in line with a fourth or fifth. I say yeah. miss. Yeah, I can't. I say Moss is a miss too. Yeah, you know, and Moss is the next pick, right? And and I don't want to get mad about the process they they went through to, to make these picks, right? Because I know you dealt the first round pick for Diggs, but this whole draft, I felt like they were chasing their tail. The whole draft. It just felt like they were chasing their tail. You think they rested on their – not really chasing their tail. They were resting on the fact they got digs. They were like, we, we already won this Yeah, we, Yeah, we're good. We're playing with house money. That's an interesting point, right? Because you are you had an incumbent team. You had players that were controllable because of the way that you had drafted and played free agency the seasons before. You're right. This draft, you could just literally punt almost this entire draft and say – we took a shot. Everything was cycling positions. Yeah. AJ Epinesa. You're Trap absolutely right. Feet. You had Zach Moss because you needed a two-back system and you didn't want to pay for a back coming yep. in. You already had Singletary. Then your next two picks were wide receivers, right? Nope. Gabe no. Davis, Jake Fromm. Yeah. So Gabe Davis is an obvious hit. Yeah. Fourth round Fromm pick. is a miss. Fromm's a miss. Agreed. Fromm's a miss. Uh, Tyler Bass in the sixth. That's yeah. a hit. Isaiah Hodges in the sixth. That's a we miss. We don't know. It's a miss. You gotta classify it as a miss. He's played like one NFL game his entire career. I don't ever want to have Isaiah Hodges as a miss. He's my new favorite player. Paul. You know who's not a miss? Hodges and Neal are my two favorites now, along with Bates. Just to clarify for everybody, Star is off the off the wagon. 
All right, go ahead. You know who's the next one? Dane Jackson. That's not a miss. That's a big old hit. You started a seventh round corner in the playoffs. Uh, hit. Hit. <laughs> hit. Okay, so how many picks were in that draft? Uh, two, four, six, seven. This was a tough one. Four were hits, I think. Yeah, so Epineza and Moss were on um, Epineza and Moss were Mom, misses. And are you going to take Hodges as a miss? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's four. Four out of seven. So I'm at 14 out of 23. Yeah, and I'm at 15 out of 23. Ooh, it's, it's getting little, close. It's getting, getting close. All right, last year. This one's a tough one, but I think we can do it. Greg Rousseau, hit. Ah, uh, okay. First round. I mean, I know. I, he wasn't a disappointment. I, no, he, he was played, not. He played no. a lot of snaps. No. Right like now, he's a hit. Carlos Basham. Miss. Really? It's going to be tough because the closer we get to now, mm -hmm. like – after the Buffalo Bills draft this year, we yeah, could say well, that, oh, we'll that first know. round was a hit. Well, yeah. well, he hasn't played yet. We don't know. Right. But the closer we get, like, all, all the other players, all the other drafts, we have at least two years of tape and production on them. Right. Yeah, Actually, we don't really know. Eight games, two and a half sacks. Like, I, I'm I'm willing to say Basham, he was inactive for most of the season. Was right? he a meh? I think. Yet to be determined I don't think. Something? I don't know. I don't think there's enough to say that he's a miss. That's it. Like, it's just. I think mm. it, because we have a little less film on these guys, we have we have less NFL seasons on these guys. Yeah. If they're not a clear miss, if they still contributed to the team at some level, then you grade where that is. That's I'm fine with it. I'm fine. So I say Basham's ahead. So we're gonna disagree on that. So now we we got two separations. Yeah. Spencer Brown, hit. hit. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Uh, Tommy Doyle. Yes. Yeah, he was active for 11 games. I didn't want to see him in any of them. Yeah, I didn't want to see him in any of them. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to see Tommy Doyle as a miss at this point because he's just depth. He's, there's there's no way he's playing mm -hmm. at this point. There's just no way. Um, Marquez Stevenson. Yes. Yeah. How You got drafted as a returner, yet you couldn't be a returner for the team in the playoffs. They gave you the opportunity to – his first game was in a dome, and then you didn't see his ass the rest of the season. Nope. That's, I think that's an underplayed dynamic. His first game was in a dome, and then after that they're like, yeah. You need some more time. Maybe his injury was lingering. Yeah, maybe. Played five games. Shift round yeah, six round. Six round. Okay. Yeah, no, not for me. Damar Hamlin. That's a hit. I. It's a hit. I gotta say it's a hit. Yeah, fourteen games, primarily on special teams. Uh, played some mop up duty for Buffalo. If you lose Micah Hyde, you got Damar Hamlin. It's not the same. No, but it's not the same. I don't think you're drafting or signing another safety to play in front of him. No. And again, for a six round pick, I think that's fine. Richard Wild Goose. Hit. No. What? Another team signed him. You're reaching. No, another team signed him off the practice squad. Okay. What other proof do you need? What? That's it? Who signed him? Who signed him? I think the Giants. <laughs> that's, that's a push. That's a push. <laughs> that's, there's no pushes. We that's a push. a push. Oh, the Giants signed Jake Fromm and he was a miss. I mean, COVID literally best your quarterback it. room over the table. I'm just saying, you're using your reasoning. That doesn't, no, no. Wild Goose is wild out. Wild <laughs> uh, out? Yes. No, it's not. A, no. Is that it? Uh, Jack Anderson. God, for the same reason, I'm, I'm discounting Wild Goose. I want Jack Anderson. He played in a playoff game. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'd say a hit. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them are pushing. You drafted a guy in seventh round that got picked up by another team and you ended up playing in the playoffs, right? I'm, <laughs> you know? Sounds like a hit to me. Sounds like a hit to me. I'm not conceding on Wild Goose. I will concede on Anderson. Four, five. I'm at five. So mine's at 19 out of 31, and yours is 22 out of 31? Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds about right. So can be in draft? 
I think that's a pretty good. I think that's a pretty good win. I mean, even with the misses that I counted, those guys got signed to other teams. It wasn't yeah. like they just washed out. Right. And really, I think I think the one that kind of that flips the scale a bit is 2020. Right. If you take 2020 off the board. With house money, you house that's money. what I mean. Yeah. That was that was that that was the Stephon Diggs draft. You already you look at your roster makeup and you're good. Yeah, you're good in 2020. So I'm not really mad about that draft. But if you take that draft off the table, Beans hit percentages way higher. Although if you have that draft, that was the year that they went to the AFC Championship game. Mm-hmm. I mean, but so it's still <laughs> yeah right right in context <laughs> right in context. Yeah, I agree, oh. but. So, okay, here's a better question. Having just done that exercise, right? Mm-hmm. If Bean wants to take all his third, fourth round picks and move them down I knew this was to go late from what we just went through, is that something that you would say they should do? I, I, no, I'm a proponent of them getting rid of all the picks for next year. Yeah. I, I would throw this draft in the can. I look at this as the less picks, the better, right? The less picks, the better. Get, Dave with four picks, and you're good. Yeah, it's fine, right? Go, I don't care. Yeah, move, get the best players you can at that, at, you know, at the time that you're picking, and then just just let it go because you got Ed Oliver walking into a contract year. You know, you got if Tremaine Edmonds, you, you, he's on his fifth year option. There's no tomorrow for him. There's no tomorrow for you. <laughs> that makes you very very dangerous. Um, but that's the kind of compromise that you have to make, right? So I, yeah, I still, I'm still it. championing the proponent of giving, giving you know, this year and next year, giving up a first round pick because Trey White, Allen, Edmonds, Oliver, Stephon Diggs. Mm-hmm. Since this new regime has been in place, every one of your first round selections have been hits. Yeah. You okay. can't keep them all. No. You can't. That's the problem. That's the problem with the model, right? When you stack in picks like yeah, that, yeah. that's the problem. Plus, you had two in one season. Yep. You got to get rid of one of them at one point because yep. you're not going to be able to afford that guy. Anymore. That's that's right. So that's do right. it for a proven commodity. Oh my God! What is this? The eight-bit nitro game again. 